Morning, Pancholia. How are you? Just clean my glasses. Can you hear me, guys? Give me a one if you can hear me. Some blanks flying up already. Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. We're covering something completely different this morning. Got a different lesson that I wrote yesterday. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining me, guys. <coughs> You can hear me. Good morning, Kenny. How are you? You're here early. Harry Beery, good morning. How are you? Let me know if you're morning loud and clear. Awesome. That's what I want to hear. Let me just sort this stool out. A little bit rushed this morning. So slightly late. You got your theory set? Oh, in an hour. Oh, well, I can't help you much this morning, can I? But good luck for that this morning. Let us know how you get on. I'll be, um, <clears throat> I'm on here for about two hours, but, um, but yeah, you're gonna to have to go fairly soon, aren't you? I'm looking at buying your course for theory as I'm dyslexic and I struggle more. Um, it has helped a lot of people with dyslexia. Have a look at it, see if you think it's um, it's a good option for you. <clears throat> there isn't, apart from a one-to-one, -one, I don't know what other help that there is for you, maybe, or, or your own driving instructor may help you. Um, good morning, Fatima, good morning, Lyra, how are you? Um, so yeah, have a look at the course, see if you think it would be suitable for you, or you can hear me chat about it in, I don't know, in about, in about half an hour, I'll give you a proper talk about it. It's all sort of scheduled in my slides here. Let me know, guys, is this your first time watching me? I want to know, are you new to me or have you seen me before? Let me know. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning, Leah. Good morning, Lexi. How are you? You booked your test for the 14th, oh, 11th, very beery. So you've got about a week left, have you? Yeah, keep watching, keep going through, you're in the course, aren't you? Keep going through the course, keep watching my lives. Um, and I will help this morning with um, what I'm covering. I'm covering super safety systems. I'm covering um, crossings made simple and finding pairs so you can answer any questions. So yeah, it's your first time watching me. No, it's not your first time watching me. Any, anybody else? Thank you. I'll be listening, says more. Yeah, awesome, awesome, yeah. So do, do what you can for yourself. Have you fa have you passed it before? You failed it before? Very, okay, very very Make sure you go through the whole of the course. You've got a week, haven't you? You've had it for a while. Um, do you have any tips for me? Leah, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing tips to pass your theory test. Um, so I'll be covering, I'll be covering three topics today. Three things that make, uh, make passing your theory test super, super simple. Let me know, guys, is, is it your first time seeing me? Or are you see, seeing me before? Hi, Rocky Rocket Juicy Reader. Thank you for the likes, guys. Mmm. Gaza Evans. That's awesome. Congratulations. You must be feeling really, really happy with that. Well done. Well done. Thanks for the likes, guys. So keep the comments coming in. Where are you watching me from? And are you watching me for all the first time? I need to know this. I want to know, have you seen me for the first time? Is it your first time watching my live or have you seen me before? Let me know and keep the like. You watch me daily, do you? Jamie, um, I know Jamie the Farmer, you're from Newcastle. I know your name. Ashupatasa says, watch me, watches me daily. That's awesome. Hi from Leeds in Newcastle. Good morning, Siobhan. How are you? You're from Wales. Hi, Andrew. How are you? Uh, Charlie from Scotland. Hi, morning, my teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. I'm fine. Had a horrible, horrible day out shopping on, what was it? Is it Saturday? Wasn't it horrible on Saturday? Uh, hi from Sheffield and Aish from Pakistan. It's the first time you see me. I'll let you know who I am in a minute, but I am a driving instructor and I am going to cover um, tips to passing your theory test. Hi, Anna from London. I give, give you a theory test on Saturday, the fourth time. Well, Jamie, you've been doing a lot on here to help yourself, haven't you? So good luck for Saturday. Uh, your exam is 3 p.m. today. Bob, Bob, babe, Bob, Bob. Stay with me for as long as possible. Good morning, Samil. Hi from Sheffield and Leicester. How are you? Guys, How do you find the theory test hard? I'm on here to help people to pass their theory test. But let me know, do you struggle? What do you struggle with and do you find it hard? Give me a number between one and ten. How much is my theory course? I'll pin it there for you to have a look at. There you go, it's just pinned below, or you can, oh, oh you know, it's not, it's not pinned up at the moment. I was making more videos at the weekend. So yeah, it's pinned below if you want to see the course. Um, 
Okay, guys, how hard is the theory? It's an eight, I've got a 10, I've got a 10, six, fear of failing it, a four. I mean, a four is not that high, but still probably hard to, a bit too high. It wasn't hard at all. I think just common sense. Lucy, a lot of it's common sense, but there's, there's some, some questions that aren't common sense at all. They're just memory. You just get them, people get them through memorizing them. Some people can't find, can't do that memory thing. Good morning, Rudev, how are you? You find it difficult, says Katie. Yeah, and I think you all know a lot of it is common sense. Um, but some of it just isn't common sense. You cannot be expected to know what sawn is or, or um, what are the difference between the different types of crossings, the sequence of traffic lights. That's not common sense. People don't know that stuff. Even people that have been driving for many years don't know that stuff. Um, so it's not just common sense. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, sums why we hazard is the easiest. And some people say hazard is the hardest. Um, it depends what you're looking out for. Um, but it's good if it's easy for you. Yay, Shaheen. That's awesome news. Well done. Oh, thanks for like, passing that on. Feel really, really happy. Really, really happy for you. <clears throat> so if you don't know me, my name is Annie Winterburn. I'm a driving instructor and I train people to be, become driving instructors as well. I've, I've been a driving instructor for about 10 years and an instructor trainer for a few years. I'm, um, I'm also a theory test expert. I do this thing, which, uh, I, can't, I can't hear, I can't read that comment, my lighting's funny. I'm also a theory test expert, guys. I've created this course that I pinned below um, to help you pass your theory test. Making theory easy is what I want to do. And for that course, I've been awarded the most innovative driving school. Have a look, have a look at it. Just click on the pin below, click on the link below. Um, it's your theory test today. Uh, good luck for today. Um, there's a big block in front of my screen, so I can't see all your comments, sorry. I've also been awarded superior achievement and excellence for my driving school. I run Spot On Driving School in Cheshire, um, Nutsford and Northwich in Cheshire. That's with my son and my husband and a few franchisees as well. Um, let me read you this comment that I've received. Oh, oh just, just last week, guys, just the end of the week. Um, Hi, Annie, I just finished my second attempt at my theory test and I passed with 49 out of 50. Thanks to you and your course and your lives and your commitment to helping as many people pass as possible. Definitely could not have done it without you. I felt so prepared going into the test this morning and my usual pre-test anxiety was practically non-existent. I have, I have confidence and anxiety techniques within my course. Thank you so much for all you do. And that was from Ames and they passed. Um, I think it was Friday, so all awesome news. I think it's while I'm live. They got in touch with me and told me. This is the course they're talking about. Uh, so have a look at it and see if it'll help you. Today I'm going to cover super safety systems. I wrote that yesterday. Crossings made simple and finding pairs. Shaheen, don't, guys, don't hesitate. Get the course. It's very helpful with all the top tips in it. Thank you so much, Shaheen. I really, really appreciate it. This is the course. This is the course. There you go. I've pinned it below for you. So let's go through a question with you first of all. Let's go through a question and let's... How to pass your theory test is what I'm covering with you today. <coughs> Excuse me. Have a look at this question. What does it mean if the ESC indicator lamp lights up while you're driving? Pop an answer in below. If you know the answer, put it in. If you don't know the answer, put the word, put the letters DK for don't know. Okay, so put the words DK for don't know. And this is the hint. I am seeing your answers there, guys. I am seeing the answers coming in. A, bit, a little bit of an intellect delay, so don't worry. So somebody knows, a few people don't know. Okay, if you do know, that's awesome. This is the tip that you get from the DVSA, because there's always a tip. <clears throat> with, with your practice questions, the DVSA provide the apps and they provide me with all the practice questions answers and hints as well. This is the hint that you get with this question. ESC is a computer control technology that detects reduced traction and automatically makes a corrective adjustment to prevent loss of control. The ESC lamp comes on to alert the driver that the system has activated and the car is approaching its handling limits. It's a powerful driver aid, but it cannot save a car once its traction limits have been exceeded. Does that make sense to anybody? Put a Y for yes or put yes or no. Does that does that hint make sense to anybody? Let me know. Good morning, Killing Beauty. How are you? It doesn't make sense to you, Gosselin the Max. No, Katie, it doesn't make sense to you. 
it makes sense to you justin that's awesome just know you a kari type of person or do you just know it or do you are you a mechanic do you, are you do you just know this stuff who else is saying yes melon it, it makes sense to you awesome it doesn't make sense to you. Come on, God, lots of answers coming in now. 370 of people on here. So lots of answers to come in. So let, let me know, yes, if that makes sense. And no, it doesn't make sense. Cool. I'm a mechanic and so is my dad. Drift with the flow. I guess with your name, you might know something about this kind of stuff. <clears throat> I had to make um, a video about this and that didn't make sense to me. I had to ring my husband and say, what does it mean? I had to I had to do some Googling and find out what does all this mean so I can understand it and I can turn, <clears throat> I can create a, a lesson to help you guys. This is in the course a while ago and I've made a lesson for my life to help you. So the question is, what does it mean if the ESC indicator lamp lights up while you're driving? And I'm going to go through my next lesson called Super Safety Systems to help you to understand that question forever. Okay, so Super Safety Systems. Do you want to hear it, guys? Double tap the screen if you want to hear it. Pray for you, Mr. Ross. Good luck for this morning. Good luck for this morning. Lots of people wishing you good luck then. Yeah, yeah, you want to hear my super safety systems. Okay, so bear with me. I only wrote this last night. I finished this about nine o'clock, eight, uh, eight, eight o'clock ish last night. So I'm going to talk about two things. I'm going to talk about ABS and ESC. ABS is anti lock braking system. ESC is electronic stability control. Give me a why if you just understand that slide that I'm covering super safety systems that's what i'm calling it and i'm going to talk about two things abs and esc and what abs stands for and esc stands for have you ever heard of abs guys put a me if you've heard of abs put me if you've heard of abs Ooh, brake fluid smoothie is it really okay okay <laughs> cool have you ever heard have you ever heard of esc Put a me or a no if you haven't heard of ESC. Let me know if you haven't heard of ESC. Okay, so it's, I think you put it wrong there, Bronte, but yes, I know what you mean, yeah. What the word spell check is awesome, is um, funny, isn't it? Okay, so some people have heard of it, some people haven't. It's now included in your theory test since the last um, couple of years. It's, in, it's a question included in your theory test. So, <coughs> excuse me. Good luck for today, JLA. Now, Ollie, I'll explain it in a minute. Okay, you're almost there. It's A A B S, not O B S. Remember. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Andrew, absolutely. So I'll, I'll, I'll explain that now. So A B S, anti lock braking system, and E S C are both safety features in a car. Okay, they're both safety features. The both are there to help you if your if your car loses control. The automatic things within the car that help you if the car loses control. That doesn't mean you can drive a bit more silly. Okay, you need to still drive really carefully. I don't know, Jay. I'm not 100% on that. Somebody else know. Andrew, do you know that answer? But Jay, will you get a speed awareness course for doing 37 in a 30? What is the limit there? It's around about 37, isn't it? Um, so I think, Jay, you might be right. Um, but I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. Okay, so let's talk about ABS first of all. ABS stands for Anti-Lock Braking System. It detects when the wheels of a car are about to lock. So as you're driving along, if your wheels, if you brake too hard or you brake very hard your wheels will lock if your wheels are locked you'll still be moving won't you you can't just suddenly stop in a millisecond so you, you'll just be skidding along the road your car will be moving but your wheels will be locked and while the wheels are locked like that you can't steer you can't brake you can't do anything you're not in control you're skidding around on the on the tarmac on the on the road okay so abs detects when your wheels are about to lock and it automatically releases the brake and reapplies the brake again. Does that loads and loads and loads of times, okay? So the brake comes, the brake, you keep your foot firmly on the brake pedal and the brakes of the car come on and off like hundreds of times, okay? That's ABS, anti-lock braking system. Okay, so 
anti-lock braking system. Keep your foot firmly on the brake pedal. You need to be braking for anti-lock brake system to work, okay? You don't want to stop braking because you might hit the thing you were trying not to hit in the first place. You'll feel the brake pedal like pulsing. It might feel a bit strange. Keep your foot firmly on the brake pedal. And you can brake and steer while anti-lock braking system is, is, is activated, okay? So if you think of the words ABS, which stands for anti-lock braking system if you think of those to mean allows braking and steering then that will help you to remember that you can still brake and steer while anti-lock braking is working does that all make sense to anybody just have to imagine you're driving along you brake heavily your wheels lock you don't want the wheels to lock but you don't want to come off the brake pedal because you're going to hit that child. So ABS, uh, why, why is it activated? It, it detects when the wheels are about to lock, Femi Biri, okay? It's automatic system in a car that detects when your wheels are about to lock. And it stops them locking by applying and re- uh, by coming on and off the brakes really, really quickly, okay? So if, if you didn't have anti-lock braking system, and your wheels were locking, what you would have to do with the brake pedal is go pump, 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 pump the brake pedal, okay? But you can't do that as effectively as ABS, which will do it really, really, really quickly. Does that make any sense? Give me some likes if that makes a bit of sense to people. Good luck, Annie, for today. Okay, so a ESC, recovering ABS and ESC. Don't overthink it, yeah, don't overthink it. ESC is an extension of ABS. Lots and lots of cars now, the older cars, have ABS. But for the few years, put questions into the question box. I can't answer them while I'm going through the lesson, okay? So put them in the question box at the bottom of the screen. So ESC is an extension of that. ESC is a bit, just, just a bit more than ABS. And it detects a loss of stability. ESC, Electronic Stability System. It uses, Andrew said here, and I've got this in my comments, it uses the ABS system's wheel speed sensors okay so they both use wheel speed sensors okay so they know how fast your wheels are moving let me sh let me explain what esc is with this picture have a look at this picture here okay so look at the red car and the road is going around the road is supposed to be going round to one way isn't it and you've turned your steering wheel that way but the car's still moving that way. Look at arrow number one. Arrow number one is showing you the car is still moving straight ahead. But arrow number two is telling you that the wheels are actually turned. You turn the steering wheel. So the car thinks, well, you've turned the steering wheel. Why the heck is the car still going straight ahead? Does that make sense to you guys? Does that make sense? So the, the car knows automatically that you've lost control the automatic system knows you've lost control because your wheels are turned, but the car isn't turning. The car's still going straight ahead. That makes sense. That makes some sense. It's a really, really simple explanation of this ESC for you guys. Okay, it makes some sense. Okay, cool. So the ESC, what do you need to know? The, e, the light, this is what the light looks like. The light will appear on the dashboard when ESC is activated. What happens here? When the car's still going straight ahead, but your wheels are turning. I know, Andrew took me blooming ages. Um, when the car's still going straight ahead, but the wheels are turning, then the car automatically knows you haven't got control. So the car will automatically put a bit of braking on that wheel, a bit more braking on that wheel, no braking on that wheel, and loads of braking on that wheel. It will decide which, what, which wheels need which braking to bring you under control. You need to know that is happening. You need to know you haven't got control and the car is helping you out. The car is automatically helping you out. So this light comes on on the dashboard saying, guy, look, driver, I'm using ESC here to help you. Does that make sense? Put a why if that makes sense. So this light will come on when ESC is activated. I've got the 
ECS there, but ESC, exactly. That makes sense. Brilliant. Okay, so just think about that. It might really help you if you go and explain it to somebody. Just remember, the your car's supposed to be going round a bend, so you have steered, but the cut the wheel the, the car isn't actually going around the bend, the car's still going straight. So so it's a safety measure. That's awesome. It is a safety measure, absolutely. If the light is on. That means ESC is activated. ESC is being used. If the light stays on, there's a problem with your ESC system. Give me a why if that makes sense. Give me a why if that makes sense to you. Ashley Paul. It's out of control, Ariana. You've not got, it's like when you're skidding, you haven't got control of the car. Don't ask me any more questions. Um, other guys on here, um, um, people on here might be able to help you, but that's, this is all, all I know is what I'm teaching you. I've learned this, what the system is in a very basic way, so I can teach it to you in a basic way. So the car is out of control. It doesn't always do what you're supposed to, what you want it to do. It makes sense. Awesome, awesome. Okay, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. Anti-lock braking system and electronic stability control both use wheel speed sensors. Just think about that, what that means. Sensors on the wheels, that so the car knows, the system knows how fast the wheels are moving. We are, good morning, morning, Sophie. Wheel speed sensors. Sensors that should say how fast the wheels are moving. Okay, does that make sense? The ABS and ESC both use wheel speed sensors. ESC also uses steering angle sensors. So it knows when you're steering and where the car is moving. Does that make sense, guys? Give me some yeses if that makes sense. If out of control, how can we handle the car? Sarah, Pichette, this is doing it for you. Don't overthink it. This is just, this is, system is doing it for you. It's helping you, okay? Th these systems help you. In, in, in more modern cars. Does it make sense, Andrew? Um, it's hard, isn't it, to explain something really basic way. I had to learn it myself, first of all. Because there aren't many questions about this, but you do need to know the answers. And you really want to know, if your car has this, you really want to know what it's all about. Okay, so the question is, let's see if people can answer the question now. What does it mean if the ESC indicator lamp lights up while you're driving. Does it mean the ESC system has activated? The ESC system has a fault? The ESC system is running a routine test? The ESC system is turned off? Wow, I'm so impressed. So many correct answers coming in. When you put the correct answer in, and if, I've, if I have helped you double tap the screen to give me some likes, just so I can see all the lights flying up, and I know, I know that, um, that I've helped you to answer that question. That's awesome, guys, awesome. I think everybody has got the correct answer. So, I like you, Alpha Hat, I like you too. Okay, so the ESC, Electronic Stability Control, if the light comes on, it means the ESC system has activated. If the light stays on, or is on all the time, or it's flickering, then, then there's a problem with your ESC system. You go to a garage to get it fixed, but if it comes on, then it just means at the moment, you are not properly in control of your car, and I, the computer, I'm helping you, okay? The computer in your car is helping you. Um, to 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 GR. If the light stays on, you go to a garage to get it fixed. That's what I said. You, you I think you misunderstood me, miss or misheard me. If the light stays on, or it's flickering, then you take it to a garage. If the light is on, it just means the system is activated. Okay, so I think you miss you misunderstood or misheard what I was saying there. Okay, only guys, only if the light stays on all the time or if the light is flickering all the time then you've got a problem if the light comes on and then goes off again then it will um it's just saying your system has activated that is my super safety oh too great sorry 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I need to butt out, don't I? Sorry, sorry, guys, thank you. Okay, so super safety systems. You were answering somebody else's question. Thank you for that. It's really, really useful because people don't know this stuff and people like you might know it and lots of people don't. I got to admit, I didn't know it, but this question came up in this theory test. Um, I thought, what, what is this? So I had to Google it, research it and find out an easy way of explaining it to you. Okay, so super safety systems. There aren't many questions on these things, but that could be the one extra question you get right in your theory test. Give me a thumbs up or a yes if you think you'd be able to get that one extra question right from now on. If you, <clears throat> Mama Bear, I do has a perception in my lesson. So keep, follow guys, follow me on TikTok and you'll see exactly when. <clears throat> you see exactly when I'm going to do has a perception. It makes sense and good. That's absolutely awesome. Um, Marina, can't explain it again because other people, if I explain it again, then other people get irritated and say, come on, we've heard this. Or I need to say, I need to say, connect to individual brake calipers to correct overseer or underseer. Exactly what Andrew's saying there is they'll do different amounts of uh, braking on different wheels of the car to bring the car back under the control. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? So the pass rate, I've included this, um, buy me a something. Um, have a look at this course and see if you think it will help you. I've included this super safety systems in this lesson because there are 1.9 million tests and 879,000 passes only. That's a 47% pass rate, meaning 53% of people are failing their theory test. Isn't that too high, guys? Who agrees that that is too high? Hi, guys, put questions into the question box, into the question box at the bottom of the screen, then I can answer them when it's um, ask any time. It's hard for me to answer them when I'm teaching, okay? So put questions into the question box. I created this course because there are so, people agreeing it's too high a figure. This course um, has got worksheets and video tutorials and fact lists all to help you learn. It's got all the official DVSA questions. That's where I knew when ESC was included in the theory test because the DVSA people contacted me and they told me we are now asking a question, a couple of questions about ESC, okay? I won't put stop putting a box there, Steve. What do you think I am, daft? Okay, so my course will help you to become 100% prepared to pass your theory test. It's helped over 5,000 people to pass so far, and I get more and more comments every single day about people that have passed their theory test. Um, but why do people, from my, using my course, but why, thank you, Ollie, but why do people fail the theory test? Why do people fail their theory test? Can you think of any reasons why you have failed your theory test or why other people might be failing their theory test? Put some answers in the comments. Now, Jigsaw North Ants, why do you think you keep failing? What do you do to prepare? Hermione, it could be because they don't revise. And Zico, yeah, it could be because they don't revise. Trick questions, um... I, I, I suppose it, some people think there are any trick questions. Too many signs. Well, I think there's probably too many signs on the road and we do need to know them because they're nervous. It's a really good anxiety. Absolutely. Yeah. Panic and don't read the questions fully. I think that's exactly right. Same questions asked in different ways. I mean, that should make it easy. Jodie, what you need to do. I understand, Jodie. That's, that's a big, that's a, is a big reason. I agree with you. But if you understand the topic what people do is memorise the questions and answers. And then when the question's asked in a different way, they don't know the answer because they don't properly understand ESC or ABS. So now, however ABS and ESC is asked, you should be able to answer the question because you understand what it actually means, okay? They don't prepare. Some people don't prepare. Some people have dyslexia. Some people have learning difficulties. Overthinking is a, is one. You know, overthinking is definitely, definitely one. I cover that in my course. I cover some techniques to help you stop overthinking when you're answering questions. Um, some people don't even speak English as a first language. Somebody said to me the other day, English is my third language. Imagine that. ESC doesn't mean ABS. ESC doesn't mean ABS. Did I teach that wrong? Okay, some people are dyslexic. Or you should always review your answers. You should always review your answers, even when you think that question's easy. But, oh, that was easy. I'll just click that and move on to the next one. And actually, they've read the question wrong. 
There's lots of pe reasons why people are failing their theory tests. All I see people, lo lots of people, I get that question, I get that comment every day, loads and loads of times every single day. I failed by one mark. Well, actually, and somebody said to me, I failed because of one question. I got one more, one more mark. You actually got quite a few wrong if you if you failed it. So you can try and think. I need to be going to my theory test, getting 47, 48. 49 50 out of 50 you need to be getting really high marks and not thinking failing by one mark is just not scraping it you need to be passing and getting a really really good score i can't give you advice on dyslexia but i can tell you this course has helped a lot of people with dyslexia if you when you fail um vp it's very honest of you vp v, i can't read that sorry um pr um people tell me that failing is embarrassing and frustrating and a waste of money and um and a waste of time but it's frustrating because they can't then book their driving test is that right guys who here is ready for a driving test you can't take it because you can't pass your theory test is that any of you on here that box is driving me mad oh no says steve sorry steve just close your eyes and listen. If I don't pin the box, people are always saying to me, come on, show me the box, show me the course, show me the box, show me the course. So I have to keep pinning it, especially while I'm talking about um, th th this part, this section of the go of the lesson. Okay, I'm going to teach you to pass your theory test. I'm driving Steve mad now with a box that I've clicked that pinned there below. I'll teach you to pass with this theory test course. It'll help you become 100% prepared to pass. So have a look at it, guys. Um, this doesn't work. It's a money grabber. What doesn't work? I don't know what you're talking about, what doesn't work. Because um, my course worked, if that's what you're talking about. Um, my course has helped over 5,000 people to pass so far and I've only had the course since we start, since June of the first lockdown. Before that, I was delivering courses face to face. The course has got worksheets, it's got tutorials, it's got fact lists, it's got all the official DVSA questions, it's got case studies, anxiety techniques. I can say it's helped so many people to pass so far. It helped AIMS. It helped Ames. <laughs> yeah, uh, it helped Ames pass on Friday. She says she passed on her second attempt with 49 out of 50, thanks to me and my course. She felt really, really prepared going to the test, and her usual pre test anxiety was practically non existent. Okay, practically non existent. The normal price is 69.95 of everything that i'm offering but i'm only charging the price of one single one hour driving lesson if you can afford a driving lesson and you have driving lessons every single week then you can afford the cost of one single one hour driving lesson okay There's, i'm going to give you <clears throat> all of these bonuses as well the hypnosis course worth 14.99 has a perception course worth 9.99 Top 10 reasons for failing your driving test and how to avoid them, worth 5.99. Top 20 hardest theory test questions, worth 3.99. Know your traffic signs and the highway code. All of that you're going to get in this course, which has taken me thousands of hours designing techniques and explanations and recording it and editing it and entering it and creating a course, thousands and thousands of hours that have taken me. And I give you ways to help you remember forever. Anne-Marie Hogg, don't, struck, don't study for too long. So it's, I don't know you, but maybe between 10 and 20 minutes before you have a break. And then another 10, 10, 20 minutes before you have a break. It could be one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening, or one in the morning, one in the evening. Depends on you. Three sets of 10 to 20 minutes normally. Um, she warned you to 30 minute intervals. So that means you're quite good at focusing them um, because 30 minutes is quite a long time. Um, but it depends on what you're doing in those 30 minutes. You could be play, playing my games for the past few minutes, which would really help you and make it easy. Let me show you what's in the course, guys. So watch this two minute video. and Let me show you why the course might help you to pass your theory test. Let me show you what's in theory test course so you can see and hear how you're going to get test ready and feel confident to take your theory test. I've covered every possible topic to help you master them all in a systematic way. There are 14 theory test topics in total. 
Let me go through the accidents topic so you know what's in every single lesson. You can download a worksheet if you want to and fill it in while you're watching the video tutorials. There are over 90 video tutorials in this course. So you're guaranteed to have all of the information that you need. When you've watched the tutorials, you can download a fact list or you can listen to a fact list. Listening helps you to learn without even trying. Have you ever learned the words of a song you find yourself singing along to a song just because you've listened to that song. That's why I've spent hours and hours creating and editing audio so you can listen and you can learn without even trying. Then you can have a go at all of the official DVSA questions for that topic and then have a go at a mock test, a mock test of 10 questions for that topic. You can go through all 14 topics in exactly the same way. You can do them all or you can pick and choose which topics you do and then have a look at multiple choice techniques, case studies and mock tests. I've specially devised 16 mock tests that cover every single question. You don't need to do hundreds of mock tests. Take these 16 tests and you know you've covered every single DVSA practice question. And then other things that guarantee you're going to be 100% test ready are hazard perception techniques. What happens on test day? I cover getting rid of your test anxiety, finishing the workshop, how to know you're test ready and then games that make learning fun. So that's my theory test course. You'll only pay once for... Hi, Alfie, how are you? I'll only pay once for the course. You use it for as long as you need it. This, this is what the DVLA test... This is DVSA who create the test. But yes, this, this is what it's for. This is what it's for. Um, ignore the difficult questions. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, speedy gamers. I can't answer questions while I'm actually teaching. Put them into the question box and I'll have a look when it's asked any time. Um, so um, use it for as long as you need it. You've got it. It's yours. It's yours for you to use forever if you want it. It will help you to become 100% prepared to pass your theory test. The original price is 69.95, but that's not the price that you're going to pay. You're going to pay 34 pound 99 pence. The price of one single one hour driving lesson is all you're going to pay for the course. And these are the bonuses that are guarantee that you are test ready. Hypnosis course worth fourteen ninety nine. I I'm a I'm a master. It's my certificate there, the bottom one there. I'm a master practitioner of hypnosis. I've created three audios: one for um, a theory test, one for driving test, one for driving. Um, and so those will help you. Good morning, family love. Those will help you for the rest of your driving career if you want them to. Okay, it has a perception course worth nine ninety nine. If you struggle with the hazard perception, you get the whole course absolutely free if you sign up for this for theory test course. Then the ebooks, top ten reasons for failing your driving test and how to avoid them, and top twenty hardest theory test questions is going to be really great to go through when you've completed the whole course and you've passed your mock test and go through those twenty questions and see which if you get if you're getting those right. Thank you, Fairy Berry. You're going to be getting these two ebooks as well. The theory test questions are based on the information in three books highway code know your traffic signs and driving the essential skills so a lot of the questions that you get asked will be from these two books and they are included so you get all of these bonuses all of these bonuses oh yeah jamie jamie the farmer oh, you're doing it now on test buddy i love your course thank you so much for that comment i really really appreciate it and good luck for your test coming up. Okay, you're going to get just under £35 worth of bonuses. And you will really quickly see and hear how you will pass. Jamie the Farmer has just said he's loving doing the course. Um, so that's, 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 that's awesome. Really, really learning and thinking how I'm going to pass. Zara, yay! Awesome. It's a one-stop solution for a lifetime. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're going... If you have been through the whole course and passed, been through your driving test and passed, and you're a driver and you have never driven on a driving uh, on a motorway, for example, 
you've never driven on a motorway and um, you go next Christmas you go thank you Shaheen very well very worth it love the course thank you so much um, if you're going to drive on a motorway for the first time in a couple of years you can go back to the course go back to the motorway stuff go back to the smart motorways go back to the mo you know all this, the driving and, and entering and exiting motorways and you will um, be recapping your your knowledge if you need even more help um, you may be worth going to um, book a one-to-one -one, okay a one-to-one -one has uh, there's people on here who have thank you Jamie very high, highly recommended for dyslexic people thank you Jamie if anybody needs even more help they have dyslexia or learning difficulties or they just want want more help they don't understand the questions etc etc then you get theory test course and all the bonuses and a one-to-one -one with Chris Benstead who is a theory test expert audit registered trainer and a driving instructor um, and you can get a one-to-one -one with him as well for an hour and that's only 69.95 the um one-to-one -one is highly recommended it's brilliant it absolutely is brilliant isn't it so just screenshot right now testbuddy.app forward slash one two one screenshot while i'm smiling please not while i'm pulling a funny face and now it's ask annie now it's ask annie i want to join your class okay so click on this link moscan click on that link below and you'll be able to join the class and you'll be able to be like other people who have gone through the course and smashed the theory test now let me have a look at the question box I've got your theory today at 2.30. Any advice? I'm giving you advice all the way through this. Um, but any advice for actually passing? Read the questions twice. Um, read the answers really, really carefully. Make sure you get rid of rubbish answers. Stay with me because I'll help you um, with how to answer any uh, lots and lots of questions in a minute. Um, Jamie's James, the course is forever. So it's your course for you to use forever. Um, is the course for life so more the course is for life there's no time limit why why does the car stall i don't understand okay so i'm not going to go through a sort of mechanical reasons now okay all i'm going to say to you the car will stall when you um when you're in the wrong gear for the wrong speed or when you're going too slowly and you're still in gear okay so when you're going very slowly and the car starts to judder you know it's going to stall because the car starts to judder when that happens and you, you come into a stop put the clutch pedal down or go into a lower gear if you're going to keep the car moving okay so it's all about the gears and the clutch and that's all I'm going to say right here, right now. So when will the course start? The course will start as soon as you sign up for it. So what will happen is you'll get an email immediately. It's automated. And the email will say, click here to go to your courses. Click here to go to your ebooks. OK, so a couple of links there for you. When you click to go to your courses, you will be taken to the Test Buddy website. Make sure that you log in and then click on My Courses and you'll see your courses there and you can get started within a minute it doesn't speak english and good in reading and um, maham i'm not an english teacher um so i can't help you if you don't speak english what i can say for you is the course um is is is, is presented in a way that it helps a lot of people who don't speak english very well but i'm not a, a foreign language teacher so um no it's not started yet andrew morris they're struggling with a couple of things so they, yeah it's um it's, it's hard it's hard it's, it's not me doing it it's my guys behind the scenes as you know can you do it on a pc yes you can do it on a pc you can do it on a on a, on a, um, um, a tablet you can do it on a computer you can do it on a phone so it's entirely up to you what you do and i think most people say guys if you're on the course what do you do on do you use a phone a computer an ipad the color stuff on the motorway yeah i do do them Dwayne malik is that um follow me on tiktok and you'll find out exactly when i'm going to do my um technique you use your phone do you use your phone when i'm going to do my um traffic light technique i call it to help you learn the colors of the motorway studs in a super super simple way very uses a very very uses a phone as well um yeah so i will i do cover motorway studs in a different lesson the course online or offline the course is all online so everything is online so you get it straight away and have it um have it immediately to use okay um, how long does it take to go through the course it takes most people about out, um, between two and six weeks some people buy it and do it over a weekend or even over a day 
okay so it's entirely up to you if you go through some of it in a day it will definitely help you go through all of it in a week or two it will certainly help you i would recommend um two to six weeks kenya i do do a lesson on road markings i do sassy wazzy oh my gosh that's awesome i passed thank you for your help annie you're a star you're the star you did it awesome um i i know you do yes two to six weeks for patrol you agree with me do you that's awesome that's awesome okay so the original price of 69.95 you're not going to pay you're only going to pay the price of one single one hour drive lesson and you're going to get all of these things absolutely free these are the bonuses you're going to get um so now it's ask annie not ask uh, no it's not now it's i'm going to introduce myself to you guys there's 168 people here left. Who doesn't know me? Anybody in here doesn't know me? I've already shared one technique. I've got two more techniques to come to help you know how to pass your theory test. I am here making theory easy. I bought this course. Yay! I paid 34, 34.99. Yeah, that's what it cost. Cost. Okay, so if you don't know me, anybody here doesn't know me, and if you do know me, just put, yes, I do know you, and stop asking me. But if you don't know me, let me know. Fairy Berry loves me, knows me. And that's right, I know. You're new here, Jada094. You're new here, okay? I don't know you, says Deborah. No, says Juno Mackey. Alfie, I know you know me, don't I? Um, your account isn't blocked. Nobody's account is blocked. I'll just say that, that comment. My account is blocked. It isn't blocked. Um, what you need to do is email these people. You don't know me, says Zara. Um, Bimbix, you know me. So screenshot right now and they will help you. But your account isn't blocked. You're just clicking on something wrong. That's all. That's all. Just clicking on something wrong. It happens all the time, doesn't it, when we do online stuff. We don't click on the right things, okay? Um, so, But no one's account is blocked. There you go. Okay, so guys, I am a driving instructor. My name is Annie Winterburn. I'm a driving instructor and I'm an instructor trainer as well. I train people to become driving instructors. So all of you who don't know me, I'm just introducing myself again. Sorry if you already know me. Give me some likes, guys, while I'm chatting. I'm a much instructor trainer. I'm also a theory test expert. I've created theory a theory course to help you pass your theory test. If you're interested in something else like ADI or PCB or LGV, then please email and let me know and I will help you. This course that I've pinned here, I was awarded the most innovative driving school. They looked at my course, they liked what I did, and I was awarded the most innovative driving school. I've also been awarded um, Superior Achievement and Excellence Award. That was my spot on driving school. That's based in Nutsford and Northwich in Cheshire, and that's my certificate right there. And I'm really proud of those awards, but I'm more proud when I get comments like this one that I received on Friday that says, I just finished my second attempt at the theory test and I passed with 49 out of 50. As what's that, 98%, isn't it? 98% on a test, that is awesome. She passed, thanks, um, they passed thanks to my course and my lives, and said my commitment to helping people is awesome. And the, pra the pre test anxiety was practically non-existent which is absolutely awesome more and more proud of those um costs. yeah you have one question if you've got a question you need to put it in the question box i've got loads of questions comments coming through and i'm trying to do a lesson so please put it into the question box and i will be able to answer it when it's question time thank you new thank you for that is it your first time watching me guys let me know who's watching me for the very first time <clears throat> and also, another question. Um, Fran Bell, no. The answer to that is, um, you don't. So, you watch me for the first time. Yes, yes, some people are. Okay, so do you struggle with your theory? Says, I'm here making theory easy for you. That's what I want to do, making theory easy. So, um, if you watch me for the first time, let me know, and everybody else as well, let me know what do you struggle with with your theory test? What do you want to make me to make easy for you. A pleasure, Fran Bell. What do you want me to make easy for you with regards to your theory? You're struggling with your theory. I mean, this course will help you to become 100% prepared to pass. It's help people who have failed up to 20 times or more. They haven't admitted to exactly how many more than 20 it's been. Okay, I do have a question. 
a lesson on road signs, um, uh, Deborah. So make sure you follow me on TikTok and you can see, um, you can also um, click a bell on TikTok um, and so you can be notified when I'm live, okay? So why don't you do that? Be notified when I'm live, then you'll know because one day this week I will be covering signs. Like I said, make sure you follow me on TikTok and you can see my next live lesson. Today, in today's lesson, I'm covering three techniques, three lessons. I'm covering super safety systems. I'm covering crossings made simple. And I'm covering finding pairs, okay? I've already covered super safety systems. And I'm going to cover um, crossings made simple in a minute. But let's have a look at a question first. How to memorise road signs. I cover that in one of my lessons. So follow me on TikTok and you'll find out all about road signs. It's question time. Let's cover a question. Um, so what's the purpose of a catalytic converter? I know I didn't do advisories, um, Andrew. What's the purpose of a catalytic converter? Does anybody know the answer to that? Is it to reduce fuel consumption, to reduce the risk of fire, to reduce harmful exhaust gases, to reduce engine wear? Which one is it? Is it A, B, C or D? If you don't know, put D, K. If you don't know, put D, K. So lots of people know. Some people have put in a question mark after saying, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what that is. And some people have put in a DK. Some people have given a couple of options. Shall I go through it with you guys? Shall I go through it so that you know you've got it right? Okay. So the, the hint that the DVSA give you, don't worry if you get it wrong. Yeah, shazzy to you mean. The hint that the DVSA give you are catalytic converters reduce a large percentage of harmful exhaust gases. They work more efficiently when the engine has reached its normal working temperature. That's what that's what a catalytic converter, that's the hint that you get with the um, DVSA. This is a slide that I have created to help you. So the, the box in the middle is a catalytic converter, okay, um, and uh, to the to to the um, to that side, you will see here dirty fumes from the engine go into the box into the catalytic converter, and the catalytic converter converts them, and then clean fumes go to the exhaust. So dirty fumes go in, cleaner fumes come out. Okay, dirty fumes go in, cleaner fumes come out. Converts means changes. So it's a converter. A converter means it changes. Okay, does so that make sense, guys? Convert means changes. Give me a why if that makes sense. The word convert means the word. Because some people on here don't, I know a lot of you do know that, but some people who maybe don't speak English as a first language may not know that, okay? And some people who do speak English may not be even thinking of that. So to so convert means to change, okay? So a catalytic converter converts or changes dirty gases into cleaner glasses, gases. Okay, does that make sense? So a catalytic converter, converter, converts or changes dirty gases into cleaner gases. Dirty fumes <coughs> from the engine go into the catalytic converter and cleaner fumes come out to the exhaust. Does that make sense? So you, don't know, you don't have to know any more than that. That's all you need to know, okay? You don't have to understand it. You don't have to be a mechanic. I don't really understand any more than that. You don't need to, okay? That's all you need to know. So now, guys, what is the answer to this question? What is the purpose of a catalytic converter? Is it to reduce fuel consumption, to reduce the risk of fire, to reduce harmful exhaust gases, to reduce engine wear, okay? Exhaust gases is the stuff that comes out of the exhaust pipe. You know the exhaust pipe at the back of the car and all the fumes that come out of it. Good morning, Matt and Nadi Castan. Have, have I helped anybody there, guys? That's just a little extra question I put in there. I'm going to try and pop more little questions in to how long should, would you spend practicing a day? Probably about half an hour in, in um, 15, 10 or 15 minute sections, okay? Don't spend too long, okay? Does that make sense to anybody? It makes sense, yeah. 
yet you've helped massively very baby that's awesome that's awesome because sometimes you just hear that word and mm, I, 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 you wouldn't uh, know exactly what it meant you might be able to answer the question but you still don't know what it is okay so the answer is as you've said to reduce harmful exhaust gases okay so it's an environmental thing isn't it in today's lesson as i've said i'm covering super safety systems crossings made simple and finding pairs my next lesson is called crossings made simple whoever struggles with pedestrian control pedestrian crossings let me know guys whoever struggles with pedestrian crossings let me know you do you do okay okay so i'm going to go through my pedestrian crossings lesson and I need you to be interactive with me interactive lesson so I need your um, I need your input constantly if you were in a classroom with me you'd be nodding your head or shrugging your shoulders or shaking your head um, or verbally talking to me I can't see you you can only see me so I need your help thank you be I anonymous I need your help by seeing the comments coming in and the likes flying up the screen Sonia I do but not today I do them in another lesson okay so stay follow me on tiktok you'll find out exactly when so what i want to know now guys is what does the amber traffic light mean what does the amber traffic light mean <laughs> nothing bi anonymous nothing um product leave it <laughs> nothing okay so what does the amber traffic light mean does anybody know what this means put some answers in Prepare, prepare to have to wait, Morgan Donnelly. Get ready to prepare to be ready, slow to stop, stop or go, prepare to stop or go. Stop at the line, says Lydia. Get ready, get ready to go. Keep, keep, keep them coming on, Molly, says stop at the line as well. Got an Omex, says stop at the line. Okay, what does, what does it mean? What does amber traffic light mean? What would you do if the amber traffic light showed? That's what you want to think about. What would you do if the amber traffic light showed? What do you think you should do if the amber traffic light showed? Some awesome cancers coming in. Thanks guys for interacting with me. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to go start going through this lesson and then you'll know by the end of it what you should do and you'll also understand um, other bits and pieces as well. So you do need to know, you do need to know the traffic light sequence. You need to know which light comes next. Okay, you'll be asked this a couple of times throughout your theory um, and when you're answering questions about crossings, they will say which light comes next. So you need to know the sequence of traffic lights. So I'm going to go through it with you and then I want you to chant it to yourself or out loud okay and then help yourself to remember because you need to know the sequence the sequence is red red and amber green amber red okay so I'll do that again it's red red and amber green amber red okay so do that out loud with me as I'm pointing say the words out loud a few times you could chant them to yourself all day to help yourself remember you need to know it's red Red and amber, green, amber, red. Can make a bit of a song about it. Don says very beery, awesome. So Sandy is still answering questions, which is brilliant. So put D or done, uh, put a D or the word done if you've done it with me. Red, red and amber, green, amber, red. Red, red and amber, green, amber, red. Okay, so do that with me. Say it out loud. Picture the lights as I'm doing it. Or look at these ones, if they help you even more. Red, red and amber green amber red okay does that make having a pattern like that will help you remember forever put d for done if you've done that with me if you just joined me you joined a fantastic time i'm going through crossings made simple to help you learn about pedestrian and light control pedestrian crossings and you need to know the sequence of traffic lights you need to know them to answer questions correctly and the sequence is red red and amber green amber red if you say it like that, it makes it so much easier for you. I'll do it once more. Red, red and amber. Green, amber, red. Okay? You've done it with me, guys. You've done that with me. Now, oh, I'll keep holding my lights, I think. So, now you know the sequence. You need to know what the each other lights mean. Red means stop and wait. 
Red and amber means stop and wait. Green means go if it's safe. Amber means stop and wait. Red means stop and wait. So guys, which one meant you can go? Which one, which light meant you can go? What color light meant you can actually go if it's safe? Put some answers in here, guys. Remember, yep, Nikki, Nikki Real, yep, Ferry Berry, yep. It, only the green meant, meant go. <clears throat> which light meant prepare to go or get ready to go? Was there any light that meant, just put none if there isn't any, or give me the color. Which one of these meant prepare to go? Which one did I say? <clears throat> meant to prepare to go. Rehan, none. I said none of them. None of them mean prepare to go. Listen to me again. Re um, watch them again. Let's, let's watch again. Red means stop and wait. Red and amber means stop and wait. Green means go if it's safe. Amber means stop and wait. Red means stop and wait. Which one of those did I say was get ready to go or prepare to go? Did I say any of those meant to prepare to go? Did I say any of them? Give me some answers, guys. Which one did I say? None, Sandy. Absat, Paula, Kendall, none. None of them. I didn't say any of them meant prepare to go. None of them mean prepare to go. No, I didn't. Let me go do it again. People are still getting the answer wrong there. Red means stop and wait. Um, red and amber means stop and wait. Green means go if it's safe. Amber means stop and wait. Red means stop and wait. I didn't say the words prepare to go, get ready to go, prepare to stop. No, none of them mean prepare to, okay? You stop and wait behind the line. If you're already over the line, just before it changes to red, then you're too late, it's fine, okay? But it actually means stop and wait, okay? So at traffic lights, this is the question you're going to get. At traffic lights, what does it mean when the amber light shows on its own? Does it mean A, go if no pedestrians are crossing, B, stop at the line, C, prepare to go, D, go if the way is clear? Can you see how you may get that wrong if you don't listen to my explanation? Because some people will write prepare to go. Some people will say prepare to go. Does it mean prepare to go? Which light meant prepare to go? None of them meant prepare to go, okay? So the answer there is B, stop at the line. Jason, yes, you would. You would, from a practical point of view, you would engage your gear and be ready to move off. Of course you would, but it doesn't mean that. It can't mean prepare to stop, prepare to go. It means stop at the line, but from a practical point of view, of course you would, yes. Cool answers, guys. So stop at the line. Okay, the answer is stop at the line. Stop and wait at the line. Okay, another question. Let's go through the crossings now. Now that you understand the lights properly, you need to understand the lights. The answer is stop at the line. I gave you the answer. I gave you the answer in the explanation, didn't I? I gave you the answer. All of them mean stop at the line other than green. All of them mean stop at the line other than green, okay? So the answer is stop and wait. At a puffin crossing, which colour follows the green signal? This is the question you're going to get. This is why um, you need to um, understand the sequence of lights because you will get asked a question like this. Okay. So, the four possible answers are steady red, flashing green, flashing amber, or steady amber. Go through that sequence with me that I did before, the red, red and amber, green, amber, red, okay? Which of these follow, which at a puffin crossing, do you know what a puffin crossing is? Do you, do you understand a puffin crossing? If you don't know what a puffin crossing is, you can't remember quite which one it is, then put DK, let me know what you know. Put DK, these are all all of these are in my course. If you don't know, that's that's kind of good for me because I know that I'm teaching you the right stuff, don't I? Okay, so let me go through two counts. Yeah, some people are telling me they don't know. Some people I know they've seen my live before, which is brilliant. That's what I want to see. People who have seen my live and they now know it. How awesome for me, okay? No, what does it mean, says somebody, God, the, God, the person's name says teeny tiny Dina, teeny tiny Tina. Okay, I'm going to explain it now, teeny tiny Tina. Okay, so a toucan crossing. Let me explain about three different types of crossings. 
a toucan crossing is a crossing, a pedestrian crossing for cyclists and pedestrians to use together. The answer is in the name. OK, you can easily remember a toucan crossing if you think of the words two can cross, two can cross. So number one, cyclists. Number two, pedestrians. They can cross over together. The cyclist is allowed to cycle across the road. OK, two can crossing, two can cross. And a two can crossing has the same traffic light sequence as normal. A two can crossing goes red, red and amber, green, amber, red. OK, two, that's a two can crossing. Next one we'll go through is a puffin crossing. A puffin crossing knows when a pedestrian is on the crossing. A puffin crossing knows when a pedestrian is on a crossing and the lights can change quicker if no one's on the crossing to let the cars carry on driving, okay? Or the lights can stay on for longer to give pedestrians longer to cross over the road. Give me a why if that makes sense. A puffing crossing is a crossing that knows when a pedestrian is crossing so they can change the lights accordingly. That makes sense, okay? How does it know, guys? How does it know? How does a puffing crossing know? It doesn't make sense, Miral. It's just, uh, give me a second, I'll explain it. I'll explain it. Okay, so a puffin crossing has a sensor. Look at that sensor up there on top of the crossing. See that? See that little box there? And that sensor, yeah, yeah, ash you. That sensor knows, it detects when a pedestrian is on the crossing and it thinks, well, a pedestrian is still on the crossing, so I won't change the lights. I won't change the traffic lights um, because um, I'll, I'll let this pe person cross over the road first. OK, so a puffin crossing, that means, it, that means it's quite clever, isn't it? It's quite clever. It's quite intelligent. You can easily remember what a puffin crossing is because it is a P-U-F-I-N, puffin, pedestrian user friendly intelligent. OK, pedestrian user friendly intelligent. That's an easy way of remembering that a puffing crossing is an intelligent crossing, is a clever crossing. And because it's intelligent, it has exactly the same sequence. Red, red and amber, green, amber, red. Red, red and amber, green, amber, red. OK, puffins are intelligent animals and intelligent crossings. Are they intelligent animals? Clever cat. That's a good way of remembering, remembering it. Okay, that's a puffing crossing. Now the other type of crossing is a pelican crossing. A pelican crossing has a different sequence of light. It's slightly different. Okay, so what it has is it has red flashing amber green, amber, red, red, flashing, amber, green, amber, red. And flashing, amber means you can keep on driving through if no one is on the crossing. Does that make sense? So you need to know the difference between puffin. A puffin has the same sequence and a pelican has a different sequence. A pelican is the only one that has flashing, amber. It doesn't have a sensor. Instead, it has flashing, amber which means you can drive through. It's the only amber one means you can drive through if no one is on the crossing. Give me a why if that makes sense. Give me a why if that makes sense. Pelican crossing has a flashing amber instead of red and amber. That makes sense. Let's come back to the question then. The question was, at a puffin crossing, which colour follows the green signal? Now, was the puffin crossing the same traffic light sequence or a different traffic light sequence? Did a puffin crossing have the same traffic light sequence or a different traffic light sequence? People are coming up with the answer. You know the answer to this, guys. So does a puffin crossing have steady red flashing green, flashing amber or steady amber? Which one did it have? Now we know we know that it's not steady red. 
and we know it's not flashing green because there isn't any flashing green. So it's either flashing amber or steady amber. Which one had the flashing amber? Loads of great answers coming in. Awesome, guys. That's fantastic. And likes are flying up the screen, which I'm loving. Okay, just a quick reminder. A quick reminder. If you just joined me and you're not quite sure, a pelican crossing has a flashing amber phase. A pelican crossing goes red, flashing amber, green, amber, red. A puffin crossing and a toucan crossing has the same traffic light sequence as normal. Red, red and amber, green, amber, red. Okay, so red and amber together, but a pelican crossing has flashing amber instead. A puffin crossing is an intelligent crossing. Intelligent, puffin, pedestrian, user, friendly, intelligent. A toucan crossing is a crossing where two can cross together. Pedestrians and cyclists can cross together. So the correct answer, guys, was a steady amber. The all steady red, Jason, the all steady red, okay? Steady steady means it's, it's not, not, not flushing, okay? So just that colour on its own and it's not flushing. So the answer is steady amber. Puffin Crossing has a steady amber light. That's awesome. That's Crossings Made Simple. And I wanted to, to include that in this lesson today. Has it helped anybody? What's the question to that answer? The question to that answer was, at a puffin crossing, which colour follows the green signal? And the answer is steady amber. And that is my crossings made simple. I've included crossings made simple because a lot of people just try to memorise the answers. They read the question, read the four possible answers and try to memorise, but don't don't know a way of remembering the different crossings always. And they don't understand the sequence of lights in the first place, okay? I, I didn't, before I did this job, I didn't know what the sequence of lights were to, to answer theory questions on them, okay? So I've helped you with the sequence of lights and I've helped you Thank you, Jason. Exactly. Jason's been driving 30 years and this is a refresher. We don't remember all this stuff, you know. We didn't, we, we sometimes we weren't taught it in the first place. We didn't, we didn't have to do a theory test years ago. And um, we, 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 we just forget it as well. Uh, as a giveaway crossing, okay? I'm, I'm writing stuff down that you're saying, hey, Andrew, I am I'm not in row, I'm writing it down. Um, <clears throat> but sometimes lessons go on for two hours as it is, but you, you, you're absolutely right. I just joined your lesson and feel like booking my theory test this week, yay! This is the class, this is the course that we're talking about. Crossings Made Simple is in my course. Everything you need to know is in this course. I'm just going three techniques today that are from the course, sharing them with you. Good morning, says. Good morning. Oh, hello, Babby. Hi, good morning. How are you? There's 1.9 million tests taken, guys. 879,000 passes. That's a 47% pass rate. That means 53% of people are failing the theory test. And that's because they just don't um, know. They're just trying to memorise stuff. You see questions, you see answers, and you try and memorise the answer. And the question is, is asked in a different way in your theory test, and you get it wrong because you don't understand the topic let me know guys how what help are you given to pass your theory test let me know does your driving instructor help you and i'm not criticizing driving instructors by the way we don't have time in lessons because you don't want to hear it in lessons most of you don't want to sit and listen and discuss the theory of driving in a lesson. And if we did that in a lesson, you'd be telling us that we're, I did it once to help somebody. And the parent shouted at me. The, the girl asked me for help. I sat and discussed some theory for about 20 minutes. I gave her some free time as well. And the parents shouted at me, okay? You don't want to hear it in a driving lesson. People only want to drive in a driving lesson, okay? So driving instructors can't help you. Does your parents help you? Do friends help you? Do teachers help you? What help are you getting? Or, or do you get no help at all? Let me know, guys. What help do you get with your theory or do you get no help at all? And I want to know. I want to know what else is out there. 
they should be thankful very beery i gave this person two and a half hours for the price of two hours and half an hour about 40 minutes in my office in the back, my back garden and they shouted at me and they gave her to another instructor that took her away from me but that's fine that's up to them but that, what i'm saying is people don't want to sit in a car or sit in an office helping okay so what help do you get you're getting it from me now how, what help do you get? I know it's their boss. This girl still doesn't drive, by the way. The girl still doesn't drive. Um, and that was about five years ago. So that's very sad for her. Okay, what help do you get past it with your theory test? Let me know. I'll tell you what help I'm given while you're coming up with some answers for me. I've created this course and I have spent thousands of hours and I started many, many years ago. As I say, I helped this, my, my pupils in my lessons. Many, many years ago, I started and in lockdown, I put it all into an online course, worksheets, tutorials, video tutorials, fact lists, all the official DVSA questions. I contacted the DVSA, said, do you like my course? Have a look at my course. Please, can I have all of the official questions like you're given to some of the really good apps out there? And they said, yes, we're happy with your course. We're going to give you all the official DVSA questions. And oh, and, and the second, hang on a second. And this is them here. This is all the official, I printed them out. This is all the official DVSA theory test questions. They're all printed out there. Um, didn't have to print them out, but I did, okay? I've got case to all the official case studies and I put in anxiety techniques, I put in games to help you to pass your theory test. That's the help that I'm giving um, and I've given to my learners, um, but I wanted more, I wanted more people to get help. People were contacting me, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. How can you help? I've failed it five times, 10 times, 15 times, 20 times. I can't, I don't want to hear that. I want to help you guys, okay? Good luck for tomorrow. You baby, how do you say your name? Why do people fail the theory test? Sometimes it's because they haven't got that help. They haven't got that extra help. We'll be getting your course later, Paula. That's awesome to hear. That's awesome to hear. That's awesome for you. Okay. Um, why do people fail the theory test? Uh, thank you for that. Like those roses. I kind of put my practical. Oh, you just bought the course more. That's awesome. You passed second time with ease. That's fantastic. Listen, not everybody needs extra help. Um, but if everybody did this course, I think that I would love them to do it in schools and colleges um, because you would, you would not be guessing any of the answers. You wouldn't be guessing, you'd have a proper understanding. I have learned so much doing this course. There's people on here who passed the theory test, passed the driving test years ago and they're learning even now, okay? So it would help it helps anybody. What course is it, Mia? Is this course that I've just pinned below there for you. Failing. Have you failed? Let me know. Have you failed? And how do you find failing? Do you find it embarrassing? People say that it's really embarrassing. I'm so opposed. I failed yet again. What do I do? Don't buy her book. Buy mine. Okay, what a funny comment. Buy this person's book. That's awesome. Okay, you you failed, Ryan. Why did you fail and how did you find it? PCV, LGV, ADI, anything like that, then please email. Screenshot right now. <laughs> and email ask me i'll help you okay is it frustrating because you know what my driving instructor said go all the way through the app and you'll pass and i didn't so i went through it again and i still didn't pass what i want what else am i supposed to do what i'm supposed to do i don't know what else to do it's a waste of time you've got to get to the test center wait for your test take your test get your results get home again all with a fail mark um you failed by two marks right how do you find that right is it frustrating or is it just a waste of money because two times it's not that many is it but it's 46 pound wasted money 46 pound and you can't even book your driving test until you pass your theory test what i want to do is teach you to pass your theory i want to teach you the theory of driving i want i am here making theory easy with my explanations and my techniques i spent three years full time at teacher training university okay three years at university doing teacher training full time i'm a driving instructor and an audit registered trainer i spent months and months and months and thousands of pounds becoming a therapist an nlp master practitioner and a hypnotherapist and a master coach and all of those skills have gone into creating this course for you Oh my gosh, Smidge, I know your name. That's awesome. Congratulations. I'm so, so happy when I get these comments. So happy when I got these comments. Smidge passed 
the theory test using my course and that is awesome for me this is this course that we're talking about now that i've, that I've pinned below as well it will help you become 100 percent prepared to pass because i put in all sorts of how, how do you learn guys guys do you learn by <clears throat> watching or reading or listening or doing or uh, how how do you actually learn by playing or or explaining to other people what's the best way for you for learning let me know just purchase thank you that's awesome uh, Katie that's awesome doing says Morgan yeah by watching watching yeah I, I learn about doing and listening says Paul all of them I've put all of this into this course for you guys and if you like a combination yeah if you it's all online and if you like actually um you know explaining to people what you need to do is learn something and then go and teach it to somebody else okay teach it teach what you've learned so you just learned um all about what we just learned crossings made simple and you know all about if you've seen my last this lesson you know all about um puffin crossings and pelican crossings go and teach it to somebody even if it's your dog dogs are great because they just listen to you um, so teach it to your dog. Say, Do you know, my dog's called Ralph. Say, Do you know, Ralph, you know, the difference between a puffin crossing and a pelican crossing, and that helps it to go into your, into your head. Thank you, Siobhan. That helps the information go into your head, and you can recall that information so much easier. My course has helped over five thousand people to pass. I'm going to have to change this figure because I'm, it's happening more and more people every single day. I have this this message on Friday. Recommend course all my friends who want to do their theory says, Yeah, you my baby, that's awesome. Thank you so much for that comment. Um so um Ames on Friday, who's been following me on TikTok and commenting and interacting with me the whole way through, went to do the course, uh, the test on Friday, and then messaged me with this. I I've um just finished my second attempt at theory test and I passed with 49 out of 50. I know, Siobhan, isn't that awesome? 49 out of 50, thanks to you and your course. That is awesome. That was on Friday. And I said, can you please email? And Ames said, I've already done it. I've already emailed you. I came off my live and that's the email that I had. The original price of everything I'm offering is 69.95. But that, oh, Ames, are you there? That's, uh, <laughs> um, that is, um, they don't know if you flustered me now for a second. Um, so $69.95, that's not the price you're going to pay. Only £34.99, only the price of one single one hour driving lesson. I have people message me every single day saying, but I can't afford it. If you have driving lessons, you can afford it. You need to invest in yourself. Don't fail it twice, four times, six times, eight times. Thank you, Ames Town. Um, 10 times, 20 times. Don't do that. 10 times is what is it, £230, and you're having driving lessons every single week. Cancel one single one-hour driving lesson, take this course, and you will pass. There's absolutely no point getting the driving test ready if you can't book uh, your theory test. But now I'm moving on. Do you change my address? Do you change your address? Andrew, do you know the answer to that? You booked your theory test. Do you need to change your drive your address if you booked your theory test? I don't know. I don't know. 100% worth the money, says Rich. That's, that's awesome. You're going to get all these bonuses. You sign up, you get all of these bonuses. Um, and they are genuine, real and valuable bonuses. I promise you that. I'll tell you why. Because TikTok contacted me. TikTok contacted me. I'm not very tech savvy. I'm not very TikTok savvy. But they contacted me because my TikTok account is doing really, really well. Follow me, guys. It's doing really, really well. And they contacted me and said, will you be interested in doing live lessons um, on TikTok at least three times a week and we'll teach you how to do them. I thought, well, okay. So, okay, what bonuses can you offer? I, well, I don't know. What bonuses do you want me to offer? Think of some really, really great bonuses they said to me. And I gave them some said no more. I gave them some said no more, more, more. Okay, we want this to be a great offer for people in your live room. Okay, so I'm offering all of these things. My hypno, I'm a master practitioner of hypnosis. That course cost me thousands of pounds, okay, and hours to create that. Um, it's just audio, it's just me talking through, but it took a long, long time to do. I had to write it first, create it first, decide what I'm going to do first. It took me hours to do. So all of those bonuses are there for you, and they're genuine bonuses. Let me show you now why, can I, what my practical lesson with theory is, but 
No, you can, Lexi, you can only book your practical test when you've passed your theory test, okay? That's why it's so frustrating for people who can't <clears throat> pass the theory test because they can't even book your driving test until you've passed your theory test. I passed the theory test on Friday, yay! Now I'm doing my first practical test on Wednesday. I'm just gonna, don't be scared. Listen, don't be scared. You're doing your driving, first driving lesson. What are you expected to know? Just think, just answer this question in your head or type an answer in. What would you expect me to know if I was doing my first lesson in flying an aeroplane? What would you expect me to know? And the answer is, I'm sure, go on, someone put the answer in. What would you expect me to know if I was going to do my first lesson in nothing, says Hermione? You would expect me to know nothing. How much help would you expect me to have? A little or a lot? How much help would you expect me to have? Nothing, says Ferry Beery. You'd expect me to have a lot of help, wouldn't you? And if I did really badly, would you think, would you think she's rubbish? Would you think I was rubbish if I didn't do very well in my very first lesson or my second or third lesson in flying an aeroplane? Would you think I was rubbish and was never going to pass you shouldn't expect a lot on your phone. No, you should just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. doesn't matter what you achieve. One day you will get there. It doesn't matter what you achieve in your first driving lesson. One day you will be a driver, okay? It doesn't matter. I have taken people who all they want to do in the first lesson is learn about the controls that don't even want to move the car. I've had somebody who didn't even want to get into the driving seat. And I've had somebody else who in, I'll tell you about my nephew, Gabriel. He was awesome. It was a young driver lesson. He was 13 years old. He got up to fourth gear within five minutes and he was turning into junctions and reversing, okay? Within his 40, 45 minute lesson that I gave him for, for a birthday present. Okay, so people who didn't even want to get into the driving seat, they're driving now. Don't expect anything from you. Anyway, let's move on from that. I just don't want people to, I want people to enjoy the first lesson. You pay a lot of money for it. You pay a lot of money for that first driving lesson. Enjoy it. It doesn't matter how well you do. Let me show you how my course is awesome and how it will help you to pass your theory test. Let me show you what's in theory test course so you can see and hear how you're going to get test ready and feel confident to take your theory test. I've covered every possible topic to help you master them all in a systematic way. There are 14 theory test topics in total. Let me go through the accidents topic so you know what's in every single lesson. You can download a worksheet if you want to and fill it in while you're watching the video tutorials. There are over 90 video tutorials in this course so you're guaranteed to have all of the information that you need when you've watched the tutorials you can download a fact list or you can listen to a fact list listening helps you to learn without even trying have you ever learned the words of a song you find yourself singing along to a song just because you've listened to that song that's why I've spent hours and hours creating and editing audio so you can listen and you can learn without even trying. Then you can have a go at all of the official DVSA questions for that topic and then have a go at a mock test, a mock test of 10 questions for that topic. You can go through all 14 topics in exactly the same way. You can do them all, or you can pick and choose which topics you do, and then have a look at multiple choice techniques, case studies, and mock tests. I've specially devised 16 mock tests that cover every single question. You don't need to do hundreds of mock tests. Take these 16 tests and you know you've covered every single DVSA practice question. And then other things that guarantee you're going to be 100% test ready are hazard perception techniques. What happens on test day? 
I cover getting rid of your test anxiety, finishing the workshop, how to know your test ready, and then games that make learning fun. Now answer me this question guys, does anybody on here suffer from anxiety? Just let me know if you suffer from anxiety. <clears throat> right guys, let's have the comments, the silly comments. Okay, anybody here suffers from anxiety? And the anxiety means you can't concentrate on the questions, you can't answer the questions, you can't think straight, you feel sweaty, your heart's pounding, um, you're really, really scared to go and take your test. Is that any of you? Um, so um, let, let me tell you what I did was I realised as a driving instructor, a lot of people were failing their test, driving test, theory test, because they felt anxious, not because they weren't capable. Lots of people here saying they um, they suffer from anxiety and that's so many people. Um, I mean, I used to suffer from suffer for myself um, in some situations. There was a situation one day where I was at a show with a friend um, and the live radio with her the radio with her and they had these big really big microphones big fluffy microphones and they walked over to our store and they said right um introduce yourself and just tell them your name and what you're doing here oh my goodness i couldn't even think what my own name was i forgot seriously i forgot my own name when that microphone came towards my mouth i just couldn't do it i just couldn't do it and i actually said the wrong name i actually said hello my name is and i gave my friend's name which is um and she's on the floor then laughing her head off i don't know what else i said it was so embarrassing then i said everyone's going to think it was you but that's what anxiety can do for you is that, is that anybody else i know and has anybody else suffered for that kind of anxiety because that's the reason that i became um a master practitioner um or, or nlp okay and i've i'm a confidence coach and a hypnotherapist and this is my, my this is a couple of the certificates here i got i got a few certificates thousands of pounds that cost me but i know i could take away your anxiety my anxiety has been taken away i would never ever have done this ever ever i didn't even go on to facebook before i didn't do anything like this and now i don't care what you say to me i don't care i know i'm confident in myself i'm confident in my abilities and i want to help people and i put these techniques into my course to take away your anxiety not only that to help you to feel confident that's what these techniques do that's what they did for me and that's what they can do for you if you go through them in the days leading up to your test. You also get my free hypnosis course, which is that certificate there, really proud of that. I love doing hypnosis, it's like a deep relaxation and putting positive thoughts into, good morning Tracy, how are you? Positive thoughts into your mind. This course will help you become 100% prepared to pass and you will not fail for anxiety if you're anxious, only if you need them, you will not fail for anxiety if you go through these techniques. Kelsey, I'm really, really sorry to hear that. I really am. That's not what I like to hear. It's not what I like to see. Um, but the course has been created to help you. Okay, the, this course was created to help you and it will help you. The original price of everything I'm offering is 69.95 that's not the price that you're going to pay you're going to pay the price of one single one hour driving lesson that's all you're going to pay pay one single one hour driving lesson so if you think you can't afford it but you're having driving lessons um, you need to think about investing in yourself okay not coming to me saying well i failed it another three times since i've said i can't it's what i get every single day i failed it another two times another three times it's since i've told you i can't afford it and spent another 46 or 16 69 pound on failing before they decide to buy my course you're going to get all these bonuses as I said, I'm a master practitioner of hypnosis and this is my certificate here. There's three tracks there for you, one for theory tests, one for driving tests and one for driving. Those three you're going to get absolutely free. You've got them forever for you to use forever. Course of Ken Shabs is pinned right there for you. My hazard perception course that people pay $9.99 for every single day. People are buying that for $9.99. You're going to get that absolutely free. As well as top 10 reasons for failing your driving test and how to avoid them. Written by Diane Hall, who is an absolutely amazing um, driving instructor and um, and um, 
therapist. She helps people get rid of tests of, of anxiety for driving. It's what she specialises in. Okay, um, I don't specialise in it. I, I want to focus on the theory of driving, so I'm not going there. So she's put this course. She's given me this book for you to use. If you want more help to do with anxiety, then please screenshot right now. If you need more anxiety help, then screenshot and get in touch with them and tell them that you need more help. Just say, just say TikTok live, um, give them your name and say anxiety. Top 20 hardest theory test questions and these two ebooks. The theory test questions are based on question and, and the information in these books. <clears throat> and so there's nothing else you need. There's absolutely nothing else that you need in order to pass your theory test screen while Annie smiles. That is the law, by the way. That is a law that I make up in my theory test lives. Only screenshot while I'm smiling. <clears throat> Put the question into the question box and I'll ask, answer them when it's Ask Annie. Can you imagine how hard it is for me to do my lesson and keep on answering questions? You obviously can't, but please put them into the question box and I do want to answer your questions. You're going to get £35 worth of bonuses and you will quickly see and you will quickly hear how you're going to pass. What you'll get is an email straight away. The offer's available while I am live. You'll see and hear how you're going to pass your theory test. And it's a one-stop solution for a lifetime. You will have it for a lifetime. If you want, there's always somebody asking me for one-to-ones. I don't do one-to-ones. But what you can get is you can get um, my course and all my bonuses and a one-to-one -one with Chris Benstead, who is a driving instructor, audit registered trainer, theory test expert, who's been delivering one-to-one -one lessons for years, okay? This is what he does. He does one-to-one -one theory lessons. He will make that, that lesson suitable for you. He, will, he doesn't just have a lesson that he delivers. He finds out your needs, your wants, okay? So that's, it's an awesome, awesome lesson that you can have. So just screenshot now, and go to testbuddy.app forward slash one two one. And now it's ask any time. Do you have to take lessons before a driving test? You don't have to take official lessons. Um, of course, it's um it's very very useful. Ahmed, thank you, thank you, Hermione. Um, please can I join on the twenty third of the twelfth? If I am live on the 23rd of the 12th, then yes, you can join, okay? Um, you can join it while I am live, but I will be live that week. I don't know what days, uh, Christmas week, I don't know what, I won't be live on Christmas day, probably. Uh, don't think anybody wants to watch me on Christmas day, do they? Um, but it, I will, I'm gonna try and come live Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays in the mornings. Um, so what date is it? What day is the 23rd of December? You tell me. Um, there was a date, 2.30, any advice? I've gone through that, haven't I? Read the question really, really carefully. Trust your unconscious mind for the answers. Um, and other questions I have answered. What is, okay, so what is, um, I'm going to go live Mondays, Wednesdays, Friday morning. Christmas Day, a Saturday, so the 23rd is a Thursday, is it? 23rd is a Thursday. 23rd is Thursday. Thanks, thanks Yvonne. And thanks, Tracy. So prob prob probably the 23rd in the evening, okay? 6 p.m. on the 23rd, I'll be live and you can go through this. So why should I join Shame It Live tomorrow? Is my birthday, Paula. I will be live at 6 p.m. tomorrow. 6 p.m. tomorrow. So 6 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays. 9 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It takes as long as you want, but Mandy May, it takes most people between two and six weeks. Some people go over it in just a day or two. Some people can complete it in a week if it's really, really studied. Thank you, Cold Everett. Um, I definitely recommend this course. Yay, thank you, you, you Bahabi. Okay, so why should we do your cor uh, a course and not an app? It's entirely up to you whether you do my course or whether you just join an app. An app is only going to, is, is, um, an app can be very, very good. Um, if it's a good app, make sure you're joining a good app that has the updated questions. And if you do, you'll find they have these things here, these ticks here, all the official questions, mock test, case studies, and the hazard perception. The difference is my course has all of those extra ticks there, all the extra ticks, okay? So it has exactly the same as an app, as a good app, but it also has 85 or almost 90 video tutorials. It has question question techniques, how to answer any question, worksheets, fact lists, 
and audio test anxiety techniques and games so all of those things extra in order to help you to properly learn how to pass your theory test making theory easy is what i want to do and you won't pay the original price of 69.95 you'll only pay 34.99 for all of those bonuses okay so for anybody who just joined me, you join me at a good time, let me tell you who I am and what I'm going to do for you today. I'm Annie Winterburn. Making theory easy is what I want to do for you. Annie Winterburn, making theory easy. I am covering techniques to help you pass your theory test because I'm a driving instructor. Been a driving instructor for about 10 years now. I'm also an instructor trainer. I've trained people to become driving instructors. I am an audit registered trainer. Um, I've got that twice that thing i've got that one twice and i am a theory test expert okay i created this course in order to help people to pass their theory test um, and for the course i was awarded the most innovative driving school and um which i'm really really proud of these people that looked at my course looked at my courses i've got several of them and they awarded me um, the most innovative driving school for this actual course that i have just pinned there for you i've also been awarded superior achievement and excellence award that's for my driving school i run spot on driving school it's based in knotsford and northwich in cheshire and I, for the results that i get with learner drivers and with instructors who i train i was awarded superior achievement and excellence award and i'm really proud of those awards incredibly proud of those awards but i get even more proud when i see comments at like this that this i got from aims on friday which was i just finished my second attempt at the theory test and i passed 49 out of 50 98 percent we're gonna get that out now no good at math 98 percent thanks to you and your course how could i be more proud of that how couldn't i be more proud of that um that comment in today's lesson i'm covering i'm covering super safety systems crossings made simple and finding pairs i've already covered super safe safety systems <gasps> it's hard to say and crossings made simple have you seen those ones guys who has seen put sss if you've seen super safety systems um c m s if you what if you've seen crossings made simple tia i'm going to say you shouldn't but can i stop you You've seen Crossings Made Simple. Hermione, you've seen both of them. Well, you've been with it for ages. Okay, so now you can know how, yeah, you've seen Crossings Made Simple, says Dua Malik. Yeah. Anybody else seen any of them? You don't need to see them. You just understand. Okay, so the next one I'm going to cover is Finding Purrs. And for this, I actually went out and I brought why well, didn't it go out i ordered them in i ordered purrs okay purrs okay let me understand what i mean by purrs because this is awesome this can help you to answer so many questions do you want to know guys just put yeah i know so cute finding purr find a purr it'll make you smile find a purr it'll make you smile okay this is what this is all about because if you find a purr you can answer the question so much easier do you want to hear it? Just put a yes if you want to hear how you can answer questions easier. Not all questions, but a lot of questions or some questions easier by finding a purr in the answer. You want to hear it, guys? OK, let me show you. Let me tell you what I mean. I'm going to keep hold of my purr because it's so cute. It's actually a dog toy. It's actually a dog toy. Um, so my dog keeps trying to get hold of them. OK, so... Find the purr here. They've got four answers here. Let's do the purrs game. Let's go purrs game. Okay, so banana, paper, strawberry or shop. What, which two are the, is a purr? Which two is a purr? A, J, K has got it straight away. You got it straight away, guys. That's all you're going to be doing. Okay, that's all you're going to be doing. You're going to be finding a purr in the answer and there are purrs in a lot of theory test questions so the answer go on guys keep coming keep them coming keep them coming keep them coming you're right absolutely absolutely so banana and strawberry up a purr they're all they're both fruit okay they're both fruit so let's find the purr here let's find the purr here 
what should you do when you're overtaking a horse and rider? You might know the answer. I, if you, I'm, I'm demonstrating how you can find a purr. I'm demonstrating here how you can find a purr and it'll make you smile. Okay, how you can find a purr and it'll make you smile. What should you, blah, blah, what should you do when you're overtaking a horse and rider? Sound your horn as a warning. Go past as quickly as possible. Flash your headlights as a warning. Go past slowly and carefully. Where's the purr? And how are they a purr? Where's the purr? Okay, where's the purr? What should you do when you're overtaking a horse and rider? Sound your horn as a warning. Go past quickly as possible. Flash your headlights as a warning. Go past quickly and carefully. Some of you have found the purr. How, uh, yay, our dot. Congratulations. What is the purr? Let me know. How do you know that is the purr? How do you know it's a purr? How do you know it's a purr? Does the purr make you happy? How do you know? Let me know how you know. Does anybody can tell me? It's a lot of words to type in. Maybe you can't. Yeah, exactly, our bed boss, exactly. Jasmine, if you don't understand me, don't worry. Just stay with me. It will just, it'll just come into you, okay? Isn't it frustrating when you think everyone else is getting it and I just don't know what you mean? Because your mind works differently. That's all, your mind works differently. And because my mind works differently sometimes, I don't get things sometimes, okay? Then I, I understand completely. Okay, so the purr is, there's two answers that have got the words go past. So it's obviously, what should you do when you're overtaking a horse and rider? It's about how should you go past that horse and rider? Because there's the purr. C is go past as quickly as possible. No, B, sorry. D is go past slowly and carefully. That means you can get rid of A and C because you know it's an answer to do with going past don't you? Now you're going to think about, well, it's always going to be the safest option. It's always going to be the safest option. Which of those two is a say, Haroon, which of those two is the safest thing you can do? Let me know. Is it B or D? Which of them is the safest thing to do? Perhaps do with the same word or not. Yeah, it does. The same word or not. Okay, so build up of information. Okay, if you don't get it at first, don't worry. By the time you get to the end of the lesson, you will get it. Absolutely, the safest thing you can do is go past slowly and go, good luck for today. A seven, that's late. Good luck for today. The safest thing you can do is go past slowly and carefully when you're going past a horse and rider. See what I mean? Find a purr makes you happy and makes it easy for you. If you find a purr, it makes it ha makes you happy. It makes the answer, finding the answer so much easier. You can get rid of answers because you've found the purr. Show you another one. What should you do when you move off from behind a parked car? It makes sense now. Fix. It makes sense now. What should you do when you move off from behind a parked car? Give a signal after moving off. Looking around before moving off. Look around after moving off. Use the exterior mirrors only. So don't get mixed up here with what the purr is. Where's the purr? Where's the purr? Don't get mixed up with what the purr is. Okay, it can be a little, you have to read, read all of the answers really carefully. Where's the purr? I'm asking for the purr, not the correct answer. Where is the purr? Thank you, Morgan. Thank you, Samantha. Where's the purr? Where's the purr? Is it, is it A and B, B and C, C and D, A and D, C and A? Where's the purr? Yeah, so many great answers coming in. That's awesome, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't want the correct answer just yet. I want the purr. Awesome. And the purr is look around, look around. So B and C, look and look around before moving off, look around after moving off. So what should you do when you're moving off from behind a parked car? Where's the purr? Not purr, a pair. 
pair per okay what that's the per okay and which one now is the safest thing you can do if you're moving off should you look around before or look around after what's the safest thing you can do let me know yay the safest thing you can do is is it to look look around before you move away or look or move away and then look around which was the safest and the right answer there is b look around before moving off you found the purr and find the purrs made you happy i hope you like my purrs i love my purrs okay so it made you happy okay because what it did is it got rid of two rubbish answers you do a um a and d get rid of them and you've got a 50 50 chance of getting it right so the answer there is B. How is it B? You know how it's B. That is the purr. You found the purr. That's awesome. Let's go through another one. Let's go through another one. This technique can help you with so many questions. You don't have to think, is it A, B, C or D? Is it A, B, C or D? In a mock test at home, I think I know the answer. But I, some of it is, these are common sense. These are to help you with questions that aren't so much common sense, okay? If you think you can answer them all, then that's awesome. That's brilliant, okay? Siobhan, yeah. people think they know everything, but I don't know everything to do with the theory. And no driving instructor out there knows everything to do with the theory. But if some people think they do, then that's up to them. Just because you can scrape through a test and think they know everything. Can you rewatch the video later? I don't know, Lexi. Oh, I'm gonna, I might put it onto YouTube. I might put it onto YouTube. YouTube, 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 okay? And sometimes when you're doing a test, the information is, ah, you just feel like that, don't you? You can't do it. Okay, so that, that, let's go through another one. What's the purpose of road humps, chicanes and narrowings? Okay, what's the purpose of road humps, chicanes and narrowings? Imagine answering this if, in, if English isn't your first language or you don't read very well. Imagine answering, be hard. Okay, so is it to separate lanes of traffic, to increase traffic speed, to reduce traffic speed, to allow pedestrians to cross? Guys, where's the purr? Where's the purr? Okay, is it A and B, B and C, A and D, C and D? Which one is it? Okay, what's the purpose of road humps, chicanes and narrowings? Where's the purr? Let me just show you what they mean by that for people that don't quite understand. Okay, look at this road here. The, 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 the people who make the roads have deliberately made the road narrow. They've deliberately made the road narrow so that only one car can get through at all, one vehicle can get through at a time. One vehicle's got to wait while the other one goes through, then the other one waits while the other goes through, goes through. What is the purpose of that? Why the heck have they done that? Why have they made the road narrow so that only one can get through at a time? Okay, that's what they mean by this question. Okay, does that help? Does that helps anybody who didn't understand? Just put a yes if that's helped anybody that didn't understand. If it hasn't, then let me know. I can just take it that slide out of my lesson. I only put that in recently. Oh, thank you, Nikki. It has helped you. That's all. Oh, it's helped a few people. That is brilliant. That's brilliant. So what's the purpose of road humps? Chicanes and narrowing, thanks Yvonne. To separate lanes of traffic, to increase traffic speed, to reduce traffic traffic speed, to allow pedestrians to cross. Where's the purr, guys? Show me the purr. Which which are the two? Tracy, C and D. Thank you, user. A and C says Alina. Which is the purr? Let me know the purr. Nikki says B and C. Which two have diff the same types of wording in it? Okay, which two are the same types of wording? Okay, let me go through the answer now. Oh, I like the picture of a purse. Okay, so to increase traffic speed, to reduce traffic speed. Okay, so traffic speed was the purr. Okay, you found the purr, that made you really happy. So why did they do these? Is that to increase traffic speed or to reduce traffic speed which one is it which is the right answer now do they make the road narrow to increase traffic speed or to reduce traffic speed yay the right answer guys keep keep, keep coming in 196 people on here so i want loads of answers coming in 
yeah, absolutely. The right answer is to reduce traffic speed, to get the traffic moving slower. It's so clever, the per thing I know. You have to, I mean, with this one, you'd have to read the whole answers and really get it into your head because A has got the word traffic in it as well, hasn't it? So just be careful. But the B and C had the words traffic speed. B and C, thank you, Ahmed. B and C had the word traffic speed. So look at the question, you think it's all about traffic speed, isn't it? Look at the answers in red now. And the answer is to reduce traffic speed, to make traffic go slower while they're driving through um, places that have houses, okay? That, or, or through towns that want the traffic to go slower. That's my finding pairs. Do you like it? Do you like it? I'll tell you what, I've said that you can do a one-to-one -one with Chris Spencer. You can get my course, you can get um, my bonuses, and you can get a one-to-one -one with Chris Spencer. That is his technique that he shared with me. And I said, right, can I use it? And he said, yes, of course, you can use it. I love it as well. It's really, really great. Thank you, Siobhan. Um, it might be new to you, Siobhan. Have you heard that one before? I've done it, only done it once. So finding purrs is a great way. Not every single question, but some questions, a lot of questions, there will be a purr and that purr can make you smile because you think, I know it's either that or that. I know it's either that or that. YouTube um, is printed out, don't like YouTube is Theory Test Practice Online. Theory Test Practice Online. Thanks, Yvonne. Okay, and I've included Finding Purrs because, thank you, Sunflower. Um, because there's 1.9 million tests taken, 879 passes, that's a 47% pass rate, which means 53% of people are failing, which is too high a figure. I created this course, I want you to pass your theory test. Making theory easy is what I want to do. There's free content here on TikTok, five to at least five times a week. There is free content on my YouTube channel, Theory Test Practice Online, um, and on my Facebook page, on my Instagram page. All this free content for you. If you need more help, you want structured help to get past your theory test and pass it first time, sign up for this course, which has everything you need to pass your theory test. Why do people fail? They fail because Thanks for your help. It's amazing. Thank you, Bryce. People fail because they don't understand the questions. You help me, guys. I put some answers in here. I do do has a practice. Yes, I think. Thank you, Caillou. Um, I. Um, why do people fail? Because they don't speak English as a first language. It's put some more answers in here for me, guys. Let me know why do you think people fail or why do you fail? Because they don't study. They don't know how to study. People, some people don't even know where to start. Um, why else? Because the information is just not going into the head. Because they're nervous, says Kelly. Yeah, yeah absolutely, because of nerves, says Samantha. Absolutely, because of nerves. And the information just flies out of your head. Like my name flew out of my head when I was really nervous um, on one, one occasion. Let me put my purrs over there so I don't make them squeak accidentally. They don't fully understand the questions. Absolutely not understand the questions. Abs that's a really, really good reason why people fail. So what I do in here, I help you to understand the questions. I help you to understand the answers and I help you to answer questions right, making theory easy. They don't retain the information. You don't retain information if you don't understand it. Uh, properly. You don't understand it properly. Reading questions and answers doesn't help you to retain information, does it? How, understanding something helps you to, um, understanding a topic helps you to answer questions. And failing then is frustrating and embarrassing, a waste of time, a waste of money, and you can't even book your driving test if you don't understand. What I'm doing is I'm teaching you to pass. I'll teach you to pass your theory test. Using this course, I will help you on this and on these live lessons but in this course i will teach you everything you need to know in order to pass your theory says i am making theory e easy tipster king 12 yay you get a thumbs up the theory test course will help you to become 100% prepared to pass your theory test with things like worksheets video tutorials fact lists audio, um, official DVSA theory test questions, case studies, anxiety techniques. That's why over 5,000 people have passed using this course. And comments like this from this course is I just 
um, had my second attempt and I passed with 49 out of 50 said Ames. Ames was on here earlier. Ames uh, passed on Friday and sent me this, this, um, this um, message on Friday. You better happy, yay! You can answer the question with your eyes closed now. <laughs> yes, okay. The original price is $69.95. That's not the price you're going to pay. You're going to pay the price of one single one hour driving lesson. You're going to get all these things absolutely free. Hypnosis course, has a perception course, top 10 reasons for failing your driving test, top 20 hardest theory quest test questions, know your traffic signs, highway code. You're gonna get all of those bonuses when you sign up for this course while I'm live. I'm live for another five minutes only. I've got a go because I've got a lesson. I am a driving instructor. I'm an instructor trainer. I am doing instructor training in a few minutes. Uh, I'll change my jacket to my spot on driving jacket um, and go out and do my um, instructor training bit. Here's my jacket ready for me to go. Spot on driving school. That's me. I've got to go and do a lesson in a minute because I'm a working driving instructor. Okay, film of today. Why is this coming up now? Oh no, I'm so sorry to to hear that. This is why my course will help you to pass your theory test. Two minutes. Just watch this for two minutes. Let me show you what's in theory test course, so you can see and hear how you're going to get test ready and feel confident to take your theory test. I've covered every possible topic to help you master them all in a systematic way. There are 14 theory test topics in total. Let me go through the accidents topic so you know what's in every single lesson. You can download a worksheet if you want to and fill it in while you're watching the video tutorials. There are over 90 video tutorials in this course. So you're guaranteed to have all of the information that you need. When you've watched the tutorials, you can download a fact list or you can listen to a fact list. Listening helps you to learn without even trying. Have you ever learned the words of a song? You find yourself singing along to a song just because you've listened to that song. That's why I've spent hours and hours creating and editing audio so you can listen and you can learn without even trying. Then you can have a go at all of the official DVSA questions for that topic and then have a go at a mock test, a mock test of 10 questions for that topic. You can go through all 14 topics in exactly the same way. You can do them all, or you can pick and choose which topics you do, and then have a look at multiple choice techniques, case studies, and mock tests. I've specially devised 16 mock tests that cover every single question. You don't need to do hundreds of mock tests. Take these 16 tests and you know you've covered every single DVSA practice question. And then other things that guarantee you're going to be 100% test ready are hazard perception techniques. What happens on test day? I cover getting rid of your test anxiety, finishing the workshop, how to know your test ready, and then games that make learning fun. So that's what's in my course. People ask me, show me your course. That's what it looks like. That's what's in it. So there's absolutely everything you need in order to pass your theory test. Nobody has ever been in touch with me and said, I've been through your whole course and I've failed. No one's done that. Every single person who's been through the course has passed. You can't buy the course and not do it or buy the course and just look at it. Um, but if you buy the course and do it, then you will be Thank you, Aneka. Uh, only worth the price. Is that what I mean? Um, so you, you, you will be 100% prepared to pass if you do the course, okay? If you do the course. It's only, it's not 69.95, it's only, only the price of one single one hour driving lesson. If you can afford a driving lesson, and then you're going to afford car insurance and tax 
and fuel, then you can afford 34.99 because you need to invest in yourself. If you can't pass by other means, if you can't pass by using an app, which would be cheaper, okay? An app has these things here. An app will have all the questions, mock test cases and hazard perception tests. Um, if you can't pass like that, then my course has got all of these things that are extra in there to guarantee your 100% test ready. I can't 100% guarantee you will pass your test because nobody in the world can do that. Nobody can guarantee anything, okay? You can't guarantee you'll be test ready. But I can gu guarantee you, you pass your test, but I can guarantee you've got everything you need to be test ready. I can guarantee that no one has ever failed it by doing it all. Why? Because at the end of it, you need to have done certain things to complete the course. And if you can't do those things, you get in touch with me I give you extra help and then you will pass, okay? Um, if you want to sign up, click on the link below. If you're struggling to sign up, you're struggling with anything, then while I am smiling, then you can screenshot. Okay? While I'm smiling, you can screenshot. These are the bonuses you're going to get. I'm checking the time because I've got to go for my lesson. Bonuses to guarantee you are test ready. Our hypnosis course. A master, I am a master practitioner of hypnosis. That's my certificate there um, from the NLP, from Unleash Your Potential, um, which is an awesome company who, 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 um, who helped me to become, trained me to become a master practitioner of hypnosis. I've created three audios, one for theory test, one for driving test and one for driving. That course is yours for life, for you to use for life. So you can you keep on using the driving test and driving one after you've passed your theory test. Has a perception course worth 9 99 You get that absolutely free when you sign up while I'm live. Only another three minutes or so because I've got to go. So you've got another three minutes or so to sign up today. Top 10 reasons for failing your driving test and how to avoid them. Worth 5 99 You get that absolutely free. Else, good luck for 10 days. If you want to go through my course, you've got enough time um, to do it. Top 20 hardest theory test questions. Worth 3 99 That's what you're going to get absolutely free and these two ebooks are in there so these ebooks are the the information the questions in the theory test is based on the information in these books the questions are based on the information in these two books so that means there's nothing else that you need in order to pass your theory test this course has it all this course is a one-stop solution this course is yours to for you to use for the rest of your life you can dip in and out of it for the rest of your life you always need to know stuff about driving there's people on here people every single time i go live there's people who have been driving for years who join me and who learn stuff what time do we go live chelsea if it's a morning it's 9 a.m if it's evening it's 6 p.m okay now now, now Siobhan knows me okay she knows me, what I'm doing okay um so you're going to get all of those bonuses worth just under 35 pound good morning no sleeves I'm on Monday I'm only on for another few seconds all of these bonuses worth 35 pound and you will get an email as soon as you sign up you get an email the email will say click here to see your courses, to see your courses and or click here to see your ebooks okay so two separate places click to see your courses you'll be in the test Buddy website. Log in, go to your course and you will see your courses there for you to start to use really as soon as you're ready. You'll really quickly see and hear how you will pass. You'll start to feel confident really quickly about how you're going to pass because you'll see and hear techniques and lessons that just think, ah, oh, that's what that means. That's what I mean. You know, I've said, I've gone through super safety system today to help you learn ABS and ESC. If you've seen that, you'd be like, now I know all about them. I've gone through crossings made simple and I've used this to help you learn the traffic light sequence 
and to answer any questions about puffing and pelican crossings and toucan crossings. Now it's simple. I've gone through my finding pairs. So you can find pairs in questions, in the answers, and get rid of the other answers and find answering questions so much easier. That's just three of them. There's almost 90 in my course. That means it's a one-stop solution for a lifetime. And you're going to be someone like this. I passed my theory with only one question wrong. This is after struggling to pass a theory. Then the pass with only one question wrong. Could you imagine that result? I'm loving the course, says Tank Girl Kez. I'm loving the course. It's so helpful. This is going to be you. This could be you if you sign up for this course today while I'm live for another one minute. I've just passed my theory test after using your course. Thank you so much. The best money I have ever spent. That could be you saying that kind of com comment. Tracy Cunningham says my daughter is on here. So my daughter passed her theory after going through this course. It's amazing. You don't need to buy this course weeks before your test. Tracy's daughter bought this course and did it over a weekend. I don't think she probably did all of it. I think she probably did a lot of it over a weekend. And she passed her theory test and she was concerned about it and passed. She smashed it after doing the course. This could be you if you sign up right now. Another 30 seconds I've got to go. Fox Paper Sister says, hi Annie. I passed my theory test yesterday after a failed 13 attempts. She did it all, did she, Tracy? Wow, she worked hard. She did work hard to do it all over a weekend. That's awesome. Um, bye, love it, thank you. Bye, hi, Hermione. The link is here. Can you see the pinned link? Can you see that pinned link? I've took the link off my, um, off the back of my room because I was making other videos. Okay, if you can't see the pinned link, let me know. It's because we haven't got the most updated version of TikTok. If you haven't, can't see the pinned link, contact these people if you can't see the pinned link okay? and update your TikTok and you'll be able to see them. Okay, so Fox Paper Scissors. My name is Annie Winterburn and making theory easy is what I did for this young person here. I passed after 13 failed attempts. Today I've covered super safety systems. I've covered crossings made simple and finding pairs. All of these techniques are in this course to help you. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok so you can see my next live. Um, I'll be next live tomorrow, Tuesday at 6 p.m. and then Wednesday at 9 a.m. But follow me on TikTok and you'll see my videos that I'm going to put in there in the meantime. Um, you can click on a bell that gets you to be notified. I need to go, come up with proper wording for this. There's a bell, isn't there? So you can notify yourself of when I am live and that will help you. My name is Annie Winterburn. I am making theory easy for you. Tracy, wow, she did work hard. Tell her well done. She'll be fine. She'll be fine on her driving test. So it's a deep breath and feel confident. If she feels like the, um, if, if Tracy, if she feels like the, um, the hypnosis will help her, let me know. If she feels like that will help her, let me know, please. Guys, I'll pin it one more time, then I'm going. Before I go, if I've helped you at all today, then please double tap the screen and give me some likes. That would be awesome for me to see before I go. Click the link one more time. I've just done it on that one more time. I've just done it for you one more time while I'm seeing the lives, the, the likes flying up the screen. That would be awesome for me to see and help me go in a buzz. And I have got a lesson in 15 minutes. So I've got to rush a bit of breakfast down and go out to do my lesson. Tracy, I'm really happy to hear that. Really am. That's awesome. Yay. Thanks, guys. See you again soon. Bye bye.